Hello, this is Alan Wu. Today we are going to talk about some advanced usage of hidden Markov model pattern generator in Kima. In the last video, we have talked about what is the concept of hidden Markov model and how it generates music. If you still don't know the concept of hidden Markov model and you haven't seen the last video, please check my last video over here and it will give you more detail. So now let's dig into some more advanced functions. The first very cool thing I want to show you is music morphing. Let's go to this Bach to Bartok morph example in Kima. In the media file name, you can see two items. The first one is a bar crab cannon, and the second one is Bartok's microcosmos number 150. So let's listen to both of the MIDI files. This is the first one. and so on and so forth. Now you know the style of the first piece. Let's listen to the second one. So you can hear these are two pieces with totally different styles. To look into the information of those MIDI files, you can press Shift and click on the disk icon on the right. So in the help window, you can see the file name of the first MIDI file. And over here on the polyphony, it tells you the MIDI notes are on the MIDI channel 1. And in the same time, it tells you there, there can be six notes happens in the same time in that MIDI channel. So in the MIDI channel column, we set up computer to analyze MIDI channel 1 for the first MIDI file and MIDI channel 1 for the second MIDI file. And we also set up the condensation to 16th notes. Also in the file based pitches, because those two pieces have different tonality. So we have to tell Kima which keys are they in. The first one, the tonality is middle C and the second one is C sharp. Because we are trying to morph from one file to another, therefore we need to set up a morph variable over here instead of leaving it blank. As you can see, because these two pieces add up has a lot more choices than happy birthday. Therefore we can see this huge self-similarity matrix we mentioned last time. Right now the value of morph is zero, which is a 100% bar. Therefore, only the Markov model in the crab cannon is played. If we move the morph all the way to Bartok, we can hear the hidden Markov model play 100% of Markov models in the microcosmos. Now if you move the morph value in between Bach and Bartok, you can hear some very interesting blending of two styles. You can adjust how much you want the piece to sound like Bach or Bartok in real time to generate a music that is not Bach and is not Bartok, but something in between. Very cool, isn't it? All right, this is the video today about music morphing with hidden Markov model pattern generator. If you like my video, please subscribe and turn on the notification. In next video, we'll talk more about advanced usages of hidden Markov model pattern generator. Until then, keep having fun. See you next time.